Okay, so now that we've got that done, we're going to pull out our bottom again. All right, and we are going to flip this over, and we're going to reattach all of our controller ports and everything. Uh, remembering again that uh, your one on the right, your short one, goes to the bottom. Your long one goes up on the top here. And your blue one, of course, attaches to the blue. Now, this blue one can be a real pain. So I like to kind of tuck it in behind. Sometimes it'll stay there, sometimes it won't. And I like to kind of... I like to tuck it in behind. And then I like to tuck it underneath these other two controller ports so that it kind of stays out of the way. And then we're just going to... Uh, we're just going to snap it back in there. All right. Now that we've got that done, this should just set right back in like that. All right. Line up your RF unit to the holes, and everything else should just sit right into place. You've got a couple of little posts that that stick through, and will uh, kind of work as your guide. Now this area here is a little difficult sometimes because your uh, your controller wires will get caught underneath the board and it won't allow it to sit properly. But if you've kind of worked your wires like I have, you shouldn't have too much problem with that. Uh, and if you do, you can just kind of move your wires around until, you know, until your board sits properly. So now that we've got our board in and it's all setting down quite nicely, we are going to attach the, uh, the game port here. So if you'll remember, this is where we had the two gold and the one silver screw. Uh, just remember that the silver screw goes into the middle hole, all right, and your two gold screws go on your two outside holes. All right, so we're just going to take those quick and we're going to screw them down. And if everything's lined up right, if everything's uh, if everything's in properly, then all your holes should line up right, and you should just be able to screw everything right back down without any problem. Now if if something doesn't line up then you're probably just gonna have to go back and uh, and square something up or reset something um, but if you followed the instructions in the video uh, it should all line up pretty well and you shouldn't have any problems with it. Alright now before we go any further don't forget to put uh, don't forget to put this screw and this screw back in they're easy to forget and if you've got a magnetic screwdriver, this is a good uh, this is a good place for it because these are these are tough areas to get to. It's tough to get these screws back into place. Um, you might have to try a couple of times before uh, before you'll get the screw to sit there properly without uh, without falling into the bottom of your thing. You have to turn it over and shake it out or whatever. So. Uh, these ones can be a, a little difficult, but uh, like I said, if you've got a uh, if you've got a magnetic screwdriver, it makes things a bit easier. And if you don't, well, you'll just kind of have to uh, have to work with it till you get it. We'll screw those two down. Now we're going to take the metal protector again. Um, again, this one doesn't. Uh, I find this doesn't collect much dust, so you really don't have to wipe it down too much. It should just sit on top, and uh, excuse me, should just be able to pop it into place there. And remember, it's got seven screws, so uh, make sure that you make sure that you get them all back in there. Three, four, five, six, and seven. All right, we'll just screw those down. So next is uh, just putting the top back on. But before we do, we want to we want to make sure that we clean this out really well. I mean, this is where your this is where your carts are sliding in. So you want to make sure that this is pretty clean before you put anything into it. 
Again, just take the Windex and spray out the big areas. Use your, uh, use your cotton cloth just to wipe down the big areas. And then take your Q-tip and kind of get in the corners, get in the, the, uh, you know, the little cracks and the nooks, and get all that dust out of there, uh, especially down in here and around in this area here and in this corner here. Now, here again is another, uh, another set of intake uh, ribs. It's tough to get in here, especially with a Q-tip. My suggestion would be get in there with just a uh, with just a toothpick or a very small flathead screwdriver or something, and just uh, scrape as much of that dirt out of there as possible. Uh, you can only do so much though, so don't worry about that area too much. But get it as clean as you can. We're going to turn it over, and you're going to want to clean up inside here and on the inside of your. Uh, and on the inside of the uh, lid there as well. So make sure that you get in there quite well. And then once you've cleaned up, once you've cleaned up the inside of this, you can set it back on, and it should just sit right back on like that. And we'll flip it over. We're going to take our six screws and we're just going to drop them in again. Two, three, four five and six and we're going to screw those down. Be careful with these ones because uh, it's tough to see what you're doing. You want to make sure that you don't strip these screws. Uh, if, you do, if you do strip them it's going to be well it's going to be pretty much impossible to open this thing back up in case you need to you know clean it again or change a 72 pin connector or something like that. So make sure that you you know you tighten them a fair, fair amount but uh, don't over tighten them. Don't strip them. And they should all screw in fairly, fairly nicely. Alright, so now that we've got it all put back together, we'll just do a quick run over the outside and clean up the whole outside. Again, this can be done mostly with just your Windex and a rag because a lot of this area is pretty big area so you can just wipe it down with your rag. Clean out inside the uh, things here and give these ribs a good clean as well. Alright, on the top same thing just give it a good wipe over with your rag and then you want to get in here as best you can. I find these openings are a bit uh, wider on the outside than they are on the inside so if you've got a if you've got a Q-tip that you've used quite a bit, you can usually stuff it in there and get down on the bottom and scrub it right out. Um, if you can't, again, use a small flathead or a toothpick or something, just get in there and clean that out as best you can. As far as the sides go, just uh, pretty straightforward. You just give it a good wipe, a good clean, anywhere that's really dirty you want to give some special attention. but. Uh, that's about it. Once you've got your new 72 pin connector in and uh, you've got it looking like new, it should also play like new and you should be able to enjoy those games like they were meant to be enjoyed.